divine ones, guys, listen, I have a question for you, okay? If I were to ask you, do you feel depressed at times? Do you feel lonely at times? Do you feel insecure at times? Most of you guys will probably say, yes, I do, Toya. I don't know why. Sometimes I could just be having the best time of my life and all of a sudden these feelings will just come up out of nowhere. I begin to feel depressed and I begin to feel sad. I begin to feel guilty. Sometimes I feel like everybody is against me. Guys, if you have had any of these negative emotions, any of these negative feelings before, then it's fine. It's okay. These are normal reactions, okay? These are normal feelings that every human being experiences every single day. But I'm going to tell you guys how to conquer those negative feelings, how to conquer those negative emotions so that you guys can start living your life peacefully and happily the way that God intended for you to live it, okay? The first thing I want you guys to do, and this is a little sneak peek of an activity that is going to be in the Divine Destiny Prayer Journal. But I want you guys to get a piece of paper, get a sheet of paper. Don't do this in your phone. I know we're so tempted sometimes to just make a memo in our phone, but we're going to do this the old-fashioned way, okay? I want you guys to get a pen or a pencil and a sheet of paper, and on that paper, I want you to list out all of the negative emotions that you feel every single day, whether it's depression, whether it's anger, anxiety, guilt, frustration, insecurity, whatever it is, any negative emotion that you feel every day, I want you to jot it down, write them all out on a sheet of paper, okay? Once you write all of those negative emotions out, okay, what that does is that gets it out of your system. See, there's an old proverb that says, if there is no enemy within, then the enemy outside of us can do us no harm. So what you are doing when you write down those negative emotions, you are getting the enemy that is within. You are getting, you are externalizing that enemy. You are getting that enemy outside of you. And what happens is once you get that enemy outside of you, then you can see that enemy for exactly what it is, okay? Then you can see that thing that has that you have been wrestling with, that you have been fighting with, that depression, that sickness, that anger that you have been battling every single day. When you write it down, you get that outside of you. And what you do is you look at that sheet of paper and you study that piece of paper because those are the things that are keeping you from your greatness. Those are the things that are keeping you from your breakthrough. You study that piece of paper because those are the negative feelings and emotions that you are feeling every single day, okay? Those are the feelings that are keeping you in a negative low vibration, which is keeping you out of success, keeping you out of greatness. So study that sheet of paper with all of those negative emotions, all of those negative feelings. Then I want you guys to start becoming conscious. Conscious means to become aware. I want you to become aware of when these negative emotions start popping back up in your life, okay? When you set out on your day, whether you're at work, whether you're home with the kids, whether you're in the car in traffic, whatever it is that you're doing, whenever these negative emotions start to come up, whenever you start to feel depressed out of nowhere, whenever you start to get angry out of nowhere, I want you to say, oh, there goes that negative emotion again. There goes that negative feeling again. I know it sounds crazy, guys, but understand that when you do that, you are calling it for what it is, and that means that you are becoming conscious. That means that you are becoming aware of your negative feelings that you are feeling every single day. And what happens is you have to know that you are not that emotion. You, you may feel depressed at times, but you are not depressed. Do not say, I am depressed, because if you say that, then you agree with the enemy. Do not say that I am depressed. Do not say that I am broke, okay? When these negative feelings come to you, you have to know that you are not that feeling. You are not that feeling. You are the person that is observing that feeling. When that thought comes in your mind that says, I am depressed, don't speak it out of your mouth. You have to know that that is a thought. That is not you. You are not your thoughts. You are not your thoughts. You are the person that is listening to those thoughts. You are the person that is observing those thoughts. So what you have to do is when that thought comes into your mind, you got to cast it out. You got to cast it out. And whatever that negative feeling is that comes into your mind, you got to speak the opposite. When depression comes into your mind and says, I am depressed, I want you to say, I am happy. I am strong. I am confident. I, I am peaceful. I am joyous, okay? You got to speak the opposite of what the enemy tries to tell you because you have to know that whatever the enemy tries to tell you, 
it's a lie, okay? It is not the truth. Anything that he tries to tell you, you are the opposite of that. You are not what he tells you. You are the opposite of that, okay? So the first step to doing this, guys, you got to get that sheet of paper, put that phone away, okay? I'm glad you watched the video on the phone, but after this video, set the phone to the side, get a sheet of paper, get a pencil or a pen, write down all those negative emotions. Some of you guys may have three or four pages, okay? It doesn't matter. It's okay. You're externalizing the enemy. You're getting the enemy outside of you so you can fight him because you can never fight an enemy that's living on the inside of you. You got to get him outside of you first. And when you get him outside of you, you start to size him up and look him up and down and you like, okay, well, you're not even as big as I thought you was. I can take you. I can take you. I can fight you. And I'm here to tell you guys that you can take the enemy. You can fight him. You can take him. You can take him and you don't need a team. You don't need anybody but you, okay? So do that activity, guys, and be on the lookout for the Divine Destiny Prayer Journal. That activity is going to be inside of the prayer journal along with many other strategies that I use for my personal development. I love you guys so much.